Electric Performance car brand, Polestar, is revealing the Polestar O2 convertible that aims to provide sustainability combined with electric mobility. Joining us now with more is Thomas Ingenlath, who is the CEO of Polestar and Yahoo Finance's own automotive and mobility reporter, Prasub Romanian. Great to have you both here with us for this conversation. First, let's dive in, Thomas, on why now was the time to reveal another concept like this and some of the features that we've already seen go viral within Polestar's newest edition of this sports car. Yeah, hi. Nice to join you here today. Well, why now? Um, on one hand, of course, our company is fully concentrated on the program to deliver till 25, the poster 3, 4 and 5 to get into production. Having said that, um, we have to, you know, think about the future ahead, keep the vision alive, keep, keep, keep the research alive, what is all possible with the brand. And we discovered that this spot of uh, electric Roadster is um, actually not covered at all right now, and we felt um, it's really an opportunity to show what electrification can do to this premium sports car segment. Hey, Thomas Pross here. You know, I'm curious. We've seen a lot of EV concepts out coming out as SUVs, even pickup trucks. You mentioned the Roadster. Is it necessary to do this to kind of make the EV scene more sexy? <laughs> well, it was always big part of our ambition to promote the new sustainable mobility, strive for all of the reduction of CO2 footprint, but at the same time, of course, make sure people understand that this is connected with a highly emotional, great product and that the, the future of cars, the future of cars in an electric age is as exciting as uh, the, the, all the vintage cars and the glory uh, of the sports cars that, that we love so much. So yeah, definitely it's important to emphasize this. So there's also components of this car that really showcase some of the research and development, the dynamic response in particular comes to mind. And there's a larger question perhaps of how some of these new advancements lean on energy power any more so than perhaps preceding Polestar vehicles that are already in development? Well, each and every work we do has, of course, uh, is, is the next step in getting the CO2 footprint down. We, again, have materials in the car still to be you know, research in terms of bringing them in production, but really putting that topic high up, bringing new sustainable materials that promote circularity, that promote um, keeping, keep, keeping the, the natural fibers, uh, replacing uh, virgin plastic. All of that is part of our work. But then again, we bring as well features like the drone that you're showing here, which obviously um, go more into the psychology. How do we use cars in the modern time? Hey, Thomas, so the, the O2 Roadster, does this sort of hint at a possible car in the future? I know you're using a lot of new materials and technologies. Is that going to be kind of what we'll see as a Roadster in the future? And also that, that drone you just mentioned, you know, it, we've been talking about it here in the office. We think it's really cool. How did that idea come about? <laughs> well, that idea about the drone was um, born in a conversation that I actually had with Eric Li Shifu when I presented to him this Roadster concept. And... A feedback from his side was remarkable. He said, look, isn't the idea of this fairly, you know, egocentric you driving on your own in a, on, in a fast track on a country road, isn't that a bit the old fashioned world? How could we bring that into the modern times? And the modern times is about sharing moments, sharing experiences, being together with somebody, taking, taking footage that you actually can't I, I remember and then of course as well share. So we created the drone concept, the drone being launched from your car, following your car. You can either have a very calm footage of you driving in there or the drone makes a dramatic movie of uh, zooming around the car and making really spectacular dynamic uh, footage. And that to be a great memory for yourself, but as well, of course, a memory that you can share and send to friends um, or the social media community. 
Yeah, that's, I mean, that's really exciting. Once you make the purchase, you got to be able to share what the experience is like, especially with uh, a drone, basically, um, as your as your kind of guide to exactly uh, how that experience is going within the car, too. You know, uh, when you think about the production and the production synergies that you're going to try and move forward with as you have these next cars, launching three cars over the coming three years, starting in 2022, uh, each of which has the potential to gradually realize some of the ideas presented by concept cars. You know, how do you adequately source the materials necessary uh, and then essentially make sure that you do have that that initial production target that is being able to be reached by the necessary materials that you also need to source? Yeah, our portfolio has cars, the Poster 3 and SUV coming, which is jointly together with Volvo built on a on a new electric platform which we of course um, have sourced already where we have production footprint which exists in the different parts of the world. Poster 3 will be uh, together with the future electric um, Volvo produced for example in Charleston here in the US for the US. So this is of course us being part and having access to the industrial footprint gives us this uh, preparation to really scale up our business. With what we show here, the O2, we have as well in pre preparation a bonded aluminum um, body that we use for what was a concept car, precept. We will put it into production, Polestar 5 coming. This is, of course, uh, very much our sports car architecture, which is uh, fully on the way of development. And here we show what door that opens to the sports car segment, which we then can cover with Polestar as well. Hey, Thomas. So your guys uh, big Super Bowl ad this year really introduced the band, the brand, I feel like, to a larger audience here in the States. Huh. Um, what was the origination of the ad concept and what do you think it says about Polestar as a brand? Well, how do you talk to your audience? How do you talk to your customer? I think it was our way of making making a point about you know being clear in your message, being transparent, not making false promises, and becoming a modern brand. I think that uh, we we really wanted to make a point of how our communication with the customer, what we stand for, is a different pro proposition. Just very briefly while we have you, uh, we also know that Polestar also intends to list on the NASDAQ proposed business uh, combination uh, with Boris Guggenheim, Inc., um, ticker symbol GGPI there. But what percent of the proceeds anticipated from this SPAC are going to go towards some of the vehicle launch goals? <laughs> uh, that actually, of course, here um, at the rooftop um, of, of the, the Gauss building where we will uh, present our O2 concept and our um, our business, our joint business, us going together with Gos Guggenheim, um, is of course a very appropriate um, project for Polestar with our growth plans. We are very happy having found this experienced partner who really um, it's, it's great in, in, in the months that we had and the weeks to come, and we are very much looking forward to finalize uh, this business combination and confident that this will happen in the second quarter of this year. Excellent. Well, Thomas Inglenot, it's been a pleasure to have this conversation with you and really exciting. We, we got to get our hands on the vehicle as well here, too. Uh, so we'll, we'll have to schedule a little test drive or something. It's Thomas Inglenot, who is the CEO of Polestar, joining us here and Yahoo Finance's own automotive and mobility reporter, Prasupamani.